Hello everybody and welcome. As you know, I like to support cool initiatives. And when I was researching about Wi-Fi security, I came across some sort of, it's not a vulnerability per se, it's a characteristic of the protocol that control packets or actually control frames in Wi-Fi are by default uh, not encrypted, right? Meaning that you can easily issue control commands such as disconnect and kick someone out of a network. I want to demonstrate the concept then by using this very interesting watch that was designed by this person here of name Space Hun, or my German is horrible. So he has a very interesting YouTube channel about vulnerabilities and hacking in general. And he came up with this concept with some other gentleman and it automated the exploit, right? So what it does is scan the network, select a target, and then you can basically run the exploit without having a computer. The watch is very neat. It's a 3D printed case with an OLED, OLED screen on the top. And you can wear it as a watch. Never gonna do that, but it's the most convenient delivery of the kit, yeah? You get the USB port for charging. This is a reset button. So if I push it, the system will restart. Then here you have a power switch. Mine already broke. You see one side of the lock is missing, so the button falls off. But I will be careful. The OLED screen, really nice contrast. Uh, the rocker here that allows you to navigate the menu and you can also push it like this. Down here you have a LED, LED lamp that you can use during night. That's pretty much it. So how does it work? If you go to scan, right? You can scan access points or stations. Stations are computers or phones can only access points or only stations, right? So we go here, it's gonna go through every single channel to four gigahertz only, and give you a list of access points and stations that you can exploit. Then when you're done, you can select your targets right by going here to select but we can pick up some access points operation this is mine yeah so i'm gonna go only against my own you go up stations are gonna show you all devices in range that have been detected and this irobot is my my robot vacuum cleaner and we are gonna disconnect it from the network later on together with my iphone yeah, i'll demonstrate go back and you can also clone the SSIDs, yeah? So what happens is you not only disconnect the devices, but then you simulate the same access point name, the same SSID, and then the devices, instead of reconnecting to the main network, they reconnect to your fake access point and not have any connection, right? So let's say I will go to select. I already selected my access point, right? And I'll go to stations. I will select my on device. I'm not gonna hack neighbors because this is, well, illegal. If you go back, then if you go to SSIDs, I will basically clone my own. Then when you do attack, right, I will do the, the alt to de-authenticate the clients, and then I will create a fake access point for the clients to reconnect to and have no connectivity, basically. And now we start. This is what it does, right? Of course, I will show you the other side of the deal on the computer. I can stop this. Okay. If you go to packet monitor, you can see how much traffic is on each channel of your network. Not your network, but the networks around, yeah? So you can use this to find out, for example, what would be the best channel to get your uh, 2.4 gigahertz network running, right? 
There is a clock that I never managed to get to work. I think you can display the clock, it only shows that. And you can set it, but the rocker doesn't do anything. And if I click, it goes back, right? And I actually, yeah, the LED is off. All right. So I gave up on demonstrating with the watch because it's just too hard and weird to hold the watch together with the camera and record everything together. So I'm going to actually demonstrate using my test laptop. You can see here that I have a bunch of devices connected on 2.4 gigahertz. I think not all of them are active at the moment. I have only one device connected at 5 gigahertz. And if you go here to security, SSID manager. And if I go to the network I'm going to use for the test, you see that it's only running on the 2.4 gigahertz radio. And that the mitigation against this kind of attack and that's enforcing 802.11w is actually disabled, meaning that unauthenticated control frames are accepted. So the first step in your test is for my test laptop, run Airmon NG. This is going to give me the available interfaces. My own, both my onboard interface and the external interface I have, they support monitor mode. This is a requirement to run this kind of test. Let's put both interfaces in the necessary mode. Now that both interfaces are in monitor mode, we can start scanning the network and see what's going on. What I'm going to do here is use the error dump on the monitor interface, only on my network, because of course I want to preserve my neighbors. You can run it. And you're going to see that there are devices that are not part of my network because it's going to scan not only devices that are in my house, but every single device running on these channels. So the next step is going to be to execute the attack. I might be able to use the same interface, we can try. Otherwise, I have another one and I'll use it instead. Now to test, I'm using MDK4 on my second interface, on mode D, and that's D out, and only against the test network. And you're going to see that devices are going to disconnect. What's happening here is that every single time the devices try to reconnect to the network, they will receive the disconnect signal, the disconnect frame actually, uh, from the attack. And they just cannot manage to stay online for long enough to do anything useful, right? Another extension of this test is actually not only to disconnect the devices, but also create fake networks where the device just connects to a fake access point or tries to connect to a fake access point. And then of course, nothing useful goes out of there and the device loses the ability to then to try, even try to connect to the original access point. If we go back to our access points and go to software, I mean to event log, you're gonna see that the device is reconnected so many times that they just give up, right? And if you look here, Devices that are connected using the 8211W requirement, they show up as WPAV211WPSK on my logs. And the devices that are connected to the other radio, like radio zero, they just go without the 11W. And that's pretty much how the attack works. You can see it on both ends. Now what I'm gonna do, I will go back to my laptop and I will try to run the attack against the 5 gigahertz network. What I'm going to do now is put the interface on 5 gigahertz by the parameter band A and execute the attack against my guest network and let's see what happens. 
we are getting all devices connected to this SSID and I again have two radios in different parts of the house and let's try to disconnect them so we go back to the bottom I'm going to change the target network from this one to the guest one, and that's running 5 gigahertz. Now you're going to see that no matter how long I leave this running here, no device will ever disconnect. I guess that's it. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.